Hey, this is Code Next Door. My name is Chris. And my name is Andre. Today we'll be creating a basic Phoenix Live View application. First, let's check what Phoenix version you have. You can do that by running mix phx.new v. So I have version 1.6.15. We can create an application with Live View, and for this, we will not need Ecto, so we can just run mix phx.new. Manip manipulator and dash dash no dash ecto. If you are on a version lower than 1.6, you will need to add the flag dash dash live. But since I'm on 1.6.15, I do not need that. So let's get that. Let's fetch all the dependencies. With some manipulator. So what we'll be doing is just creating an application that takes in um, some text and clicks a button and it will manipulate that text to reverse it. You can get it to do whatever you want with it, but for this application, we'll just reverse the string. Cool. And now we wait. Okay, so it has been generated the application for us. The base application so let's go into the manipulator directory and we can run ix x mix phx server and this will start the phoenix server and we can view the base application that phoenix generates for us so Okay, and we can go to localhost 4000. And this is a basic Phoenix application that gets created. So now we have to start the start Emacs. Okay, uh, there we go. Why is it generating new one? What the heck? Uh, is it Emacs with an S? Oh, there we go. Okay. And let's go to repos, manipulator, and then let's create a live folder inside of lib. So by our web. And now let's create a folder called live and we can create something, a module called manipulator.ex. Yes, we want that. Okay. And now first thing first, let's create def module and we have manipulator web and we can create the module manipulator live. The symbol do an end. And then we need to use the macro to get Phoenix Live View. And in this version, we can do the use macro, manipulator web, and then live view. And that will get live view for us. And a simple render function is how Phoenix Live View will actually render the HTML. So we have render get the assigns even though we don't need that right now which will how we have stuff on the socket and we have this h sigil with three quotations and then we can get three more to close it and we can put simple hello here for right now and this will be generating um, just hello on the web page and now we will go to the router and from there we'll update this get to be live and we put in the module name called manipulator live here to be what gets generated on this web page and if we are to recompile this we got a simple Oh. Hello, on the web page. That's all it really takes <coughs> to get started. That 
that was easy. <laughs> that was very easy. Well, how can we expand upon that? So one thing that a lot of applications need now is to get input. So inside of this manipulator.ex uh, file, we will start by getting a mount function. And this mount patient pretty much gets everything set up when we uh, start an application, which will make two calls. It will wire up the uh, socket and get all the assigns that are needed. So we have a mount with a params, which we are not going to need, with a session that we won't need. And all we will need is a socket. And from there, we can use an OK tuple with the assign function and takes the parameter of the socket and then we can create something on the socket we just call it text and then from here instead of having this we can say something like this and we close that and then we will say at text and then and that at is just like referencing the assignments yes. and then we can okay. add manipulated string here just so we can differentiate when it refreshes and then we can say string here in the socket and then when we refresh this we have manipulated string oh, with no. the string as the uh, variable for text. So now nice. let's get the input created. So a lot of times we'll need a form and to create a form in Enix Live View, you would write form tag with, since we're not using Ecto or anything like that, we don't need a chain set, which is something that you a lot of times would need when you're winding up with the back end, but we can just write phx.click and give it a name for this. We'll call it just an update. And let's see, okay, that's good. And then from there, we will close this with a form. And then inside that form, let's get input. So we have an input tag with a type we give it, which will be text. And then we give it a name and we will call that uh, input. Now, this is where we have a function called handle event. which will now handle event will have a name, which will be up, update, which will reference what is up here, PHX click. So that's how it determines what a uh, handle event function to go to. And then since we need the parameters, we will have a map that will take in a type, which will, in this case will be input, which will match the name of the uh, input type. And then we will give it uh, a name input to match. And then like most things, we will have this socket as another parameter for this function. And now we have another that will say no reply as the first since we don't have anything to send back to the client and then in the assign we will have the socket and then we'll just update the text assign to be the input and now if we recompile you'll see that this is string and let's just get up rid of this initial on the mount call so now it will be nothing and then we type i messed up somewhere 
Let's see. Am I missing something? So, I think the Phoenix handler that you want is change instead of click. Ah, yes. There we go. And on change, now it will work. Thank you. No problem. All right, so now we have it changing on whenever the form gets updated, which will be the input is clicked. So we can just constantly type anything and it will continue to uh, update. So now let's add a button to reverse it. So we have a button, phx.click, which will be, let's give it a uh, reverse. And let's say reverse and button to close. So now, and then we have to just create another handle event. Let's handle event where it's reverse. And we don't need any parameters here. And lastly, we need the socket. And then another no reply. And now we, we assign the socket. We will change the text to be a string dot reverse. And we'll just pass in socket dot assigns dot text. Then if we were to refresh the page, we have a button. And if we pass in hello and reverse it. Nope. No function for matching handle, ah, oh, capital E. C fix. Hopefully that was it, text. And there we go. Yep. So that is all it takes to really set up a Phoenix Live View application. And this goes over how to, how you set up the render, a simple form without interacting with Ecto, a how, how to set up the mount and simple handle events.